I know it's a cliche, but a year ago, if you would have told me, you know, there's no way I would have believed you. Oh, good one. Good one. Very nice. Like it? Oh, actually, you gave me too much. So, Martin, how was your first day? Great. Yeah, a little bit daunting, but it's fine. Just give me a couple of weeks to get up to speed. Mm -hmm. No time for that, I'm afraid. Before Neil left, he was working on a major tender submission, and I need you to take it over. OK. Great. Sounds exciting. It will be if we win it. Well, 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 if it isn't Fiona Ralston. Gordon, nice to see you. Gordon Hayes, Martin Tully. Martin, hi. Ah, Neil's replacement. Yeah. Oh, you got his car too. Yeah. Shame he didn't get his wife. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, it was a great loss. You know, he knew his way around. He's a good man, Neil. You make it sound like he's dead. We leave this industry, mate. You might as well be. Gordon works for Cartwall. Oh, come on now. Cartwall works for me. <laughs> right, look, I've got to keep going, Fee. I'll get some stuff over to you in the morning. Nice to meet you. Looking forward to doing business with you. Cartwall, as in? As in the competition. Nature of the industry, Martin. Eventually, you get to know everyone. See you Monday. No, it's all good. Mark, can I call you back in five? Thanks, bye. So I've compared these figures from last year's and I think we might be a little bit tight with our contingency cover of two weeks, which is going to affect the bottom line. The competition the might... The competition has allowed four weeks for contingency. What? I told you, Martin. Eventually you get to know everyone. And everything. Hey, baby, how are you? Ah, oh, I'm shattered. Mm. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just letting work know I'm gonna need some leave. Holidays? As long as it's not the next two weeks, they've already got me on some big tender. Have you said anything about holidays? Oh my god. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's yeah, amazing. I know. There you are. I just got off the phone with Carl Pentland. Congratulations, we got the tender. <sighs> I'm on my way to tell the team, but I wanted you to be the first to know. Yeah, I... Yeah. Good work, Martin. poor people are doing. Well, you shouldn't talk about our clients like that, Gordon. No, you're right, they are paying for the champagne. Uh, and let's not forget our competitors. Mate, it wasn't your day. Uh, what goes around comes around, mate. Look, we're all friends here. What are you doing this Saturday, actually? I'm having some competitors around <laughs> my place for some drinks. You and your wife should join us. Thank you, but I think we've got something on. Okay, maybe next time. It's been going on so long now that it's just the way things are done. They stick to the south and east, and we're north and west. We don't cross territories, and it's the same for the smaller guys. I mean, they keep their heads down, we don't step on them. Right, the last thing we want is a price war. Right, no one wins a war. The tenders get rotated around. You just fill them in as you're told. And if someone new starts up that doesn't want to play ball, then we just price them out. out. Now, these guys out west, I need you to get them on site. The workers keep their jobs, the clients think they're getting a good deal, and we make our budgets. And no one says anything because... Because it, it works. works. Look, everybody needs to understand that this is how things operate. 
Oh, I'm so lucky. I don't think we could have coped on this salary alone if he'd stayed where he was. Seriously, mate, that is unbelievable. What, you haven't been there a month and you know your annual budget? Mate, it's all about timing. So, are we talking the bonus? Mate, between you and me, it was already a done deal. I just had to rock up, polish it, take the cash. <sighs> Sounds perfect. Hey, they got any room in the finance department? Felt a bit guilty taking the bonus. Well, don't feel guilty. I have to catch you first. Yeah, Gordon, it's Martin. Uh, I've been trying to get onto those guys for the last couple of days. I'll let you know when I do, mate. Right. I'm just not into the secrecy thing. I mean, what's wrong with finding out? Kate knew it makes sense, don't you think? Yeah, that's great. What is? What? Well, that we find out the sex. No. Well, why not? I mean, some people Because up... some people don't need to know, Lucy. We don't go around just telling anyone. It's not how things operate. How things operate? What's gotten into you, Martin? Hello? Yeah, no, it's all right, mate. Trying to get onto the guy, all right. But when he gets back from annual leave, I'll. Oh, you know these guys, right? Yeah, I guess. Don't guess. No, we never guess. Look, mate. A couple of years ago, I got an offer. Right, another mob, completely different industry. Well, they threw the lot at me: super, cars, bonuses, you name it. It was a nice package. But that's the thing. I mean, you can take the money and run a company. Say where you are and run an industry. Right, you're helping people's jobs. You're making a difference. Yeah, I know. But we've got to look out for each other. Because <laughs> I'll tell you now, mate, no one else will. That's why we don't trust anyone we don't know. That's why we don't guess. <laughs> That's my new number, all right? You doubt anyone. Anything seems a bit weird, you give me a call on this, okay? Yeah, okay. Is anything wrong? <laughs> no, mate, nothing's wrong. Everything's fine, okay? Don't worry about a thing. Ah, uh, yeah, I was just trying to find a number. Who's? Ah, oh, I don't have my phone. Ran out of charge, so. Are you checking up on me? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, who are you calling? What's it to you? I don't have to tell you who I'm calling all the time. And you know, I'm getting pretty tired of having to justify myself to you. Have you seen Gordon? Hi, Martin. Hi. Gordon, he was here. Was he? I just saw his car. 
Well, I haven't seen him. What's going on, Fiona? I've been trying to get on to Gordon for Maybe weeks. Maybe he's just busy. <laughs> he's not busy. You know I've been trying to get on to these guys, but they've been Martin. away. Oh, but I'm trying. That's why he's ignoring me. That's why he's decided he can't trust me. That's Martin. why this whole thing will go down the shit if we don't... Martin. What? We need you to do your job. Watchdog has new teeth to crack down on price fixing. The ACCC will be able to take action against competitors that secretly share price information. Initially. I got stuck at the office. Oh, no, I called. They said you left. So now you're checking up on me. No, I wanted to know whether you're going to be home for dinner or not. I've got a lot going on, oh, in Lucy. In case you hadn't noticed, so have I. Well, I can't do everything. Neither can I. So maybe you need to make a decision whether you want to be here or not. What do you reckon? What do I reckon? Well, let's see. You've got a bit of price fixing, some government tender rigging, and dividing up the territories. It sounds like you're running a cartel. Jesus. Mate, what I reckon is that you've got to get out. I can't. No one leaves. No one ever leaves. You need help. You need to talk to someone. Someone who knows about this stuff. Yeah. Who? I don't know. So I found the website. And then I called. Now Martin, as we've discussed, only the first person who approaches the ACCC can claim immunity, no one else. And this is only the case where the person clearly isn't the leader of the cartel and hasn't coerced others to get involved. On that basis, and on the evidence that you've provided so far, I can confirm that an immunity marker is available to you. But to proceed, we are going to need your cooperation. Yeah. I understand. Next act is waiting in the wings. Big hellos, fancy clothes, and shiny things. We get edged towards the door. Just grab my hand and don't look back at what's in store. I can tell you. 